Just as in video one, we are going to begin video two, exercise routine two, with a breathing exercise. Toes and heels together, draw the ankle bones together. Draw your inner thighs and glutes together, really firming up the lower body. Arms out to the side and, and shoulders are open here. Shoulders drop down the back. Take an inhale. Look up at the hands, exhale. All the way down. Inhale again. Looking up, exhale all the way down. And as we learned in the first video, we want to lengthen the inhale as much as we can and lengthen the exhale as much as we can. This way we're learning to use more of our lung capacity. Couple more. Last time. Again, warming up the spine in all four directions, laterally, backwards, and forward. Inhale, arms up. Interlace the fingers, release your index fingers. Hips forward, chest lifted. Take an inhale, and on your exhale, bend to the right as much as you can. Maybe a little deeper than you did the first time. Inhale to come up. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to come down. Inhale to lift up. Inhale to lengthen, dropping your head back as much as you can. And slowly start to bend back. Keep your knees locked, keep your thighs tight, keep your glutes tight so that you're supporting your spine. Inhale to come up. Exhale all the way down. Forward bend. This time we're going to grab our toes with our middle and our index fingers. Walk the feet about hip width apart. Exhale, drop your head. Bring your elbows to the side so that your, your shoulders are back. And just pull gently on your toes to bring your forehead or your head a little bit closer to the floor. Again, if you need to in the forward bend, you can keep your knees bent. And you just want to work on eventually straightening them by bringing the weight into the toes. Next, inhale, bring your hands to the floor. Out to the side, come all the way up. And exhale, bring your feet together, relax your arms down. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to show you from the side just so you have another perspective. Inhale, arms lift up. Interlace the fingers, release the index fingers, hips forward. Inhale, lengthen and exhale to come down. Inhale, back to the center. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to come down. Inhale to the center. Inhale to find length. Exhale, head back. Arms back. Reach back. Start to go back. Inhale to the center. Exhale, flat back all the way down. Open the feet. Hip width. Grab the big toes, middle and index fingers. Inhale, and then on your next exhale, drop your head. Bring the elbows to the side. Again, the bend in the knees is optional. Eventually working the legs straight. Walking the feet back together, inhale, come back up, and exhale, arms float down. In video one, we were moving from posture to posture, basically just pausing to regroup and move into the next thing. In this video, now we're going to learn our first flow. A flow is basically something that links posture and movement, or brings posture and movement together. Facing the front of your mat, inhale your arms up. Exhale with a flat back, come all the way down, bend your knees if you need to, drop your head. Inhale, look forward, and on your next exhale, step your right leg back, then your left, so that you're in a plank. If you need to, you can be on your knees for this as well. Inhale, and as you exhale, bend your elbows, drop to the knees if you need to, and then gentle back bend as you lift up. Inhale. Curl your toes, push yourself back, and moving into a downward facing dog. 
For downward facing dog, you want to try not to round. You want to try not to arch your back. You want to create, basically create alignment of the spine so that your spine is nice and straight, nice and long, head relaxed. Step your right leg forward and your left. Inhale to come all the way up and exhale to come down. Go through that again a little bit slow again just for the second time. Inhale. Exhale, flat back all the way down. Drop your head, crown of your head to your feet. Inhale, flat back, looking forward. Next, exhale, right leg steps back. After that, the left one, drop to the knees if you need to. Inhale, and then exhale, staying on the knees or staying on your toes as you come down. You can drop to your belly and lift into a gentle back bend cobra. Legs are active, spine is long. Inhale, turn your toes under, you can stay on the knees, and then push back again into downward facing dog. Right leg steps forward, followed by the left. Exhale, drop your head for a moment, and then inhale, come all the way back. Introduction to warrior. This is warrior one. Feet are still together. Step your right leg back. Stay on your toes for this variation. We want to not arc the back, but keep the lower ribs drawn in so that the spine is long. Bend your left knee as much as you can. Bring your arms over your head and hold. Really nice opening here for the front of your right hip. Really strengthening the legs in this posture as well. Keep bending to get eventually your left thigh parallel to the floor. If you need to have a little bend in this knee, that's okay. Eventually you're working to straighten this knee. Hold here. Three deep breaths at least. Inhales and exhales. Inhale and straighten your leg. Pivot facing the side of your mat and then all the way to face the opposite end. Take a deep breath in, then the right knee now, same thing, warrior on the right side. Opening the left hip, again strengthening the legs. So watch your spine not arcing your back, lower ribs are in, core is active, and your spine is long. Hold here, three deep breaths. Turn, face the side. Learning warrior two now. Right foot turns 45 degrees. Left foot still faces the opposite end. We're going to bend this left knee. You can look over your left, th uh, your left hand. Just make sure your heels are in line. And again, you're bending to straighten the leg. Or bending to, to move into the lunge, rather. Three breaths there, straighten the left leg, turn your left toes 45 degrees, right foot faces the front. Opening to the side, and looking over the right. Straighten the right leg, turn your right foot in. Last warrior. Right foot 45 degrees, left foot facing the front. Right hand on the back of your right leg. A lot of lefts and rights going on here. Inhale, left arm up, arching back. So little back bend. Inhale to come up, other side. Left foot in, right foot faces the front. Left foot 45 degrees. Left hand on your left thigh, inhale, stretching up, opening the front side of the body, and then just reaching back as much as you can as you go deeper. The left hand can slide down your leg. Inhale to come up. Turn your toes in. You can even slightly pigeon toe your toes, providing you don't have any issues with sciatica. In that case, keep your feet straight. Arms out to the side, inhale. Exhale as you come all the way down. 
We're again going to grab our toes, our big toes, with our middle and our index fingers, drawing the inner thighs in. We're going to start to pull our head down. When you come down, if the intensity for you is really, in, is really strong down the backs of your legs, you can keep a little bend in the knees, just get your hands here, and then working to straighten the legs. So what you'll do here is just work on bringing the weight into the toes and then lifting the sit bones to straighten the legs. If your legs lock out to begin with, you've obviously been doing your stretching post-workout, then you can start to move deeper by contracting the thighs, engaging the legs, and then using your upper body strength to start to pull your head closer to the floor. Finding the breath again, easy to forget, to breathe. When you're thinking about the movements, and certainly in my case when you're talking, so staying with the breath, deep breaths here. And then with your knees bent or not, inhale to come all the way up. Exhale, step your feet together. And then just move into a seated position for one more posture. Extend your right leg out. Bring your left foot over top of your right leg. Inhale, bring your right arm up, cross it over so that your right elbow is against your left knee. Keeping your sit bones grounded here, inhale, lengthen, and on your exhale, look all the way back over your left shoulder. To move deeper with this one, you can start to elbow your left knee with your right elbow towards the opposite way. Gentle spinal twist. Spine twists of all kinds are wonderful for relieving any pain if you suffer from any back pain at all, any tension or pain in the spine. Left leg long, right foot comes over top of the left leg, right hand at the base of your spine. Inhale, find length, left arm comes up and over. Same thing, elbowing the right knee back, looking over the right shoulder, staying nice and long through the spine. Try not to be like this. Use this right hand kind of like a kickstand to find that length. Sit bones heavy and grounded into the floor. So we're opening the hips as a, at the same time as we're twisting the spine. Release your twist. Extend your right leg and very slowly roll onto your, your, your back. And again, take your Shavasana for as long as your schedule permits you to today.